training. It's really important for you to understand how to use your body weight. Because the body weight is what makes you have control over your opponent in a way that you do not spend all of your energy trying to hold. We don't hold, we use our weight. We slow down our partner's reaction. If I can see the punch coming towards me, I'm gonna be able to move away from the punch. But if I'm not able to see that, I'm gonna get hit first. That's how I should defend that. And in Jiu Jitsu, even though we are on the ground, we have to balance ourselves. And how far we open our leg, I always recommend make sure my knees, my feet are always wider than my shoulder. What I mean is every time I have side control that I'm like this, Jay now can easily push me off. It's hard for me to control. I must have my feet wider than my shoulder. Please use your toes, not this. This is too slippery. I don't have mobility now. And a lot of you guys, I noticed when you train, you're always like this. No, you need your toes. I want to make sure I can feel the floor. I can go forward, I can go back. I move to either side, all because of my feet. If I don't have my toes, my feet on the ground like this, it's going to have to use a lot of my arms to hold someone. To use my weight, this. My knees are barely touching the mat. Now I can push him, I can back, I can go towards the back, I can switch side, but look how it's easy for you to move without losing weight on your point. That's the number one complaint I have from my students when I train with them. And they call that old school. I said, I'm not, I'm not that old yet. <laughs> Just using the weight and you're not. And if you did, this is one of the options. We can always use <coughs> one leg short. That's fine. But I wanna now just you guys get that feeling. See, my hip is off, so I get. I'm moving this way, I can change, switch. But my weight is on him the whole time. I'm not resting in that. And I'm resting, I'm comfortable, he's not. Very simple thing, but I wanna see you guys do. My knee never touch the ground. I can bump but not resting on, right here. Two, if I'm flat like this, he can regain guard going underneath my hip. I turn a little bit to use my hip on his hip. Now, same position, he has a, a very challenged time now. Three, I don't hold him with my hands. Everything is my elbow. My hands are always free. Every time I use my hand, he can roll me, yes. I use my elbow, roll me, Jay. You cannot even move me. My hands touch him, but it's here. The elbows. I can switch at the same time. It's my elbow. You don't see me hugging, grabbing him. It's just the elbow. I touch him with the hand, but I'm not holding him. Even if I'm like this, it's elbow and knees holding him. It's no body weight, but it's no space for him. The exercise we're gonna do, and we've done that, and I remember teaching you guys in a lot of seminars. If you're in the bottom, make sure you turn your face side to side to avoid being smashed. But I'm having my hands behind my back. Sorry, Jay. What you know is that I need my legs to be wide to keep my gaze. And with my head, that's what we're gonna do first. Okay, go left, go right, circle. And I want my opponent to complain. In a good way. <laughs> Have it. Okay? If you're in the bottom, he comes in, I turn. That's his body. He comes back, I turn. I don't want to see you guys just scratch your face. Choose a partner as close as possible in terms of weight class. Because you're gonna feel it now. Okay? <laughs>